Hey guys, welcome to Blonity. Today I have a new miner for you, which I discovered one week ago. I wasn't aware of this miner and this one is really big. It's bit digital. It's traded on the NASDAQ and it's in the United States, but their miners are in another location and I will sh show you this now. They have 1,250 petahertz online, so this is a lot. They have a huge expansion plan to 2.25 exahertz and they mined 234 BTC in September, which is the lead compared to all other uh, miners, uh, publicly traded miners. Uh, my little disclaimer here, it's no financial advice. My own opinion and estimates, my estimates could, could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Okay, let's go to the highlights of Bit Digital. Yeah, in Q3 they mined 740 BTC. So I was wrong with Bit Farms. I thought Bit Farms with 535 uh, bitcoins was the number one, but it's um, Bit Digital or BTBT, which is their short name. Yeah, they have a lot of petahertz here. You can see it, and they have a disclosed uh, expansion to 2.2 exahertz, and they want to. Um, yeah, I have this uh, this uh, hash rate operational until the end of December, so in less than 30 days. They bought very cheap equipment for 14 US dollars per terahash. So uh, compared to the other miners, they bought uh, between 20 and 30 US dollars per terahash. So it's very cheap, and their efficiency is okay with 16.5 petahash per megawatt right now. Yes, um, so uh, I think it's it's very interesting, this mining company, and uh, we should go into detail right now. Um, yeah, one week ago, I I found this website here, the hashrateindex.com, very nice for, for miners, very nice website. For example, you can see the farms here where you can host your miners in the United States. Uh, it's for example, here's Core Scientific. They have 150 megawatts remaining. So Argo partnered with them and they will host their new miners in Q1 2021 here. And yeah, if you have a few, a few thousand miners at home, you can uh, host them here. So, and here's Compute North, also very big. And here we have the electricity rates. So very nice um, website, I think. And what's even more interesting is that they have um, uh, the mining stocks here. So um, I scrolled down and I saw a few I've, I wasn't aware of. Um, most of them are very small and there are some manufacturers here like Canaan here from China. But here's BTBT and we can see the chart. <laughs> they were close to zero before. It was a car rental company. And yeah, because of this thing from China, they decided in April, hmm, maybe our business model is done. Let's mine Bitcoin. So let's create a new business model. And they did. And yeah, it looks very successful right now. It says there has a market cap of 125 million US dollars. As I told you, always double check. This is the wrong number. Um, so we go to Bitcoin treasuries. And yeah, there's Bit Digital here. So here it says there has a market cap of 300 million US dollars, which is the correct number in my opinion, because I double checked it with Bloomberg and here it says also 300 million US dollars and it fits to the number of common stocks and the price. So yeah, that's the, the, the real market capitalization here. But let's get back to Bitcoin treasuries. Yeah, here it says they have 950 BTCs in their storage or accumulated. So this number is very big and it was, I found it very interesting and I double checked and yeah, all, this number is also wrong because we should always go to the financials and read a little bit and we will see that, yeah, the, right, the number right now doesn't come even close to this. So here um, it's it's in corporations, so they do a first half reports, so also first half and second half, and not a lot of details. So the transparency is right now not pretty good. But uh, yeah, the first half wasn't wasn't very exciting with 0.7 million USD in revenue. So 
yeah, forget about it. The future is interesting for this company. As I said, in April 8th, they started to acquire these Xmas Chain Limited. They had have 16,700 miners in China, in Xinjiang, in Inner Mongolia, and the Sichuan provinces, all in China. So right now they mine in China. Um, yeah, it has pros and cons to mine in China. And they have, they want to go to the United States. So here they're, um, yeah, they want to expand to the United States. They have 100 miners here in Texas, so that's nothing. But they want to partner with Compute North to expand in the United States, in uh, Nebraska, I guess. So we saw it on the other page. Um, was it was it um, Nebraska? Check it. We check this out. Compute North, Kearney, Nebraska. Yes, this 70 megawatts. So that fits very well. Okay, but that's future plans. So right now they have 22. 8,000 miners under operation with 1,250 petahash. So this is very big. It's 76 megawatts, so it's efficient, an efficiency of 16.5 petahash per megawatt. So this is the average. I think there are a lot. There are some they are better, and some they are they have less efficiency right now. And they earned 950 bitcoins until sept end of September. So that is the revenue, and yeah, we can see a pretty nice run up here. But uh, they don't have 950 BTC, so they have only 60 BTCs at the end of September. So I think that's a little bit less. Yes, and they want to expand big time. I will show you. So right now, 1.2 exahash, very, very big, bigger than the others I showed you. And today, um, yeah, they have also a little bit of car rental. No. Yeah, maybe you can rent some cars there, but I don't care about that. So today they announced um, they will um, expand big time, one exahash until December, at the end of December. That's the plan. So they bought for 14,000 US dollars. Wait, I'll zoom a little bit in. 14, 14, 14 million dollars. They bought mining equipment with one extra hash. So that's 14 US dollars per tera hash. This is very, very cheap. Um, if we compare it to, yeah, HUD-8 was very good with 19 or 18 US dollars per tera hash. Um, okay, these miners from HUD-8 are a little bit more efficient than this one here. This is a wild mix of S17, T17, S17E, S17 Pro, S19 Pro, Watts miners. So, yeah, maybe they're a little bit used. We don't know. But a very good price, at least. So, at the end of the year, they want to have more than 2.2 exa hash. So, they're growing very, very fast. And they will improve their efficiency. From 62 joule per terahash to 55 joule per terahash. Yeah, and my efficiency indicator is uh, it's 18.5 petahash um, per megawatt at the end of the year. So close to 20. So a very nice efficiency and a very big operational hash rate. Yes, and I think, um, yeah, it's, it's different to the other miners because they mine in China. So we have to take a look on China. And these regions there. These are three big regions here. This is first of all the Sichuan region, which is known for very cheap hydropower, especially in the wet season. The wet season in China is from April to September, October. They have monsoon here in South China. And here in these mountains, they have a lot of hydropower. And I don't know whether you're aware of this, but um, the Sichuan uh, region is the major mining region in the world. Uh, I will show you some numbers here. Uh, this is this is really crazy. Um, China dominates the the mining market right now. Um, it changes a little bit with Riot and and all these companies, but um, 
yeah, it's uh, it's still very very big. So first of all, I will show you their global market share. So the total hash rate is 100%, and the seed run region has 54%. So more than the half of the global hash rate is in, uh, situated in China. So wow, that's really big. A little bit concerning, I guess. Very centralized right now, the mining. But this report here is from 2019. This is from uh, CoinShares, the CoinShares Bitcoin Mining Network report. And this is one of the best reports about Bitcoin mining globally. So go to coinshares.com and download it. It's for free and it, you get a lot of very exciting uh, information there. Okay, back to these numbers. So this is also China and the rest of the world is like 35% or so. So the Sichuan region is very big. And I will show you something else here. Um, the renewables from in Sichuan are 90%. So the most uh, electricity there is from hydropower. And we can also see the other regions here, the Inner Mongolia and Xinjiang, where Bit Digital is located with their farms. So they have only 16% and 23% of the, uh, the, the renewables. Um, Penetration here means here's a lot of coal and nuclear power and so a lot of dirty energy, but Sichuan is very clean. Um, yeah. What's also very interesting here is that in this stu this study says that 73% uh, from global mining is from renewables. Yeah, a lot of because of Sichuan there, but um, when people say my uh, mining is so dirty, yeah, it's a lot of unused electricity in the north. So I don't think so. But um, I will do a video about that soon. Uh, maybe there's one other ex uh, nice um, graph here or slide here I will show you. Here you have the overview. Zoom a little bit less. So this is the Sichuan region here. This one. And here are the centers located. Very, very big. Okay. So this is the CoinShares mining report, very in interesting. Then we have the Xinjiang region. It's in the northwest of China, this region here. Yeah, and there's a lot of um, coal-fired power plants I heard of. So yeah, this is the main electricity there is generated from coal or nuclear power. Here are a lot of mining centers. Some even move from Sichuan after the wet seasons in, in, in October or November to this region like Xinjiang. Or the other region is the Inner Mongolia region here. This is in the north and east. So they have also a lot of uh, coal and nuclear power here. And yeah, after the, the wet season from Sichuan, some, some miners move there. And yeah, we saw a few weeks ago a big drop in hash rate. And yeah, experts say that um, this might be the end of the wet season in China. So prices are rising and they move to other regions in China, like Inner Mongolia. And this here is the, the movement. They, the miners were not operational at that time. So very interesting. Also, we can see these daily spikes here, in my opinion, but it's pure speculation. This is the volatility of the the wholesale electricity price in China. I have to figure this out. I, I have no prices right now on an hourly basis, but um, I think when the prices are low, maybe at night, um, hash rate goes up. And uh, if it's um, day daylight and the people who are working there, then uh, the hash rate goes down because the prices are up because the other industries work. So yeah, that's my speculation here, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I need more data about it. Also, was very interesting is about the yeah the, the Chinese regions here. It says uh, Sichuan is 3,000 meters um, elevation here, so elevation is good for hydropower. In Inner Mongolia, they have four cents per kilowatt hour. They say, and here they say that um, in the wet season in Sichuan, the prices are one cents per kilowatt hour. So this is all. This is from 2019. Um, yeah, but um, maybe it's it's a good overview for yeah that this, these regions are very attractive there for miners. Furthermore, I want to show you the Cambridge 
elect Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index. Right now it says it's 10.5 gigawatts globally. So the Sichuan region will, has more than 50% of the global hash rate, has more than five gigawatts, um, if you calculate it this way. So you can um, imagine like five huge coal-fired power plants. These are five gigawatts or four big nuclear power plants or more than 1,000 big new wind turbines. So that's a lot of capacity, which is located there in Sichuan. Okay, um, because of the wet season, <laughs> the Watts Miner M31S Plus, their slogan is choice of the wet season. So they even have slogans for these wet season. Uh, by the way, the Watts Miners are one of the most efficient miners in the world right now. Uh, this one and the S19 Pro from Bitmain. This one here is the M31S Plus Plus with 31 Joule per Terra hash. So this is one of the efficient miners in the world right now. Okay, so let's go on. Yeah, if um, we can calculate right now uh, what's the daily mining margin for this company, Bit Digital, and if we have uh, 1,250 petahertz with 76 megawatts at four cents, they would they are mining now 9.3 BTC per day, or 280 a month. So that's very big. And the daily profit after electricity is 103,000 US dollars. So very big number. And yeah, let's expect they have 2.25 exa hash at the end of December and hash rate is the same right now. Electricity will go to 124 megawatts. So they would have mined today 16.7 BTC, so that's a revenue of 318,000 US dollars and a profit um, after electricity of 200,000 US dollars. So that's a lot. Uh, I don't know the fixed cost rights now of these companies, so we have to wait a little bit to have good financials there to check to um, to double check this. But um, the the mining efficiency and the mining profitability looks very good if they have four cents in China, but I think that's the case. So very, very nice. Yeah, um, it's in China. It's located in China, the mining centers. They want to expand to the United States. Um, China is known for very, very low electricity rates and very cheap prices for hardware. So you, you, you can deploy there very fast and get the, the hardware very fast and very cheap. Um, yeah, maybe there are some risks in China. Uh, you have to decide whether you want to invest in a company which uh, has their miners in China. But um, yeah, at least the, the operational data is very, very interesting and very exciting for this company, Bit Digital. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, I want to show you a little bit my new Twitter account here. It's Blonity at Lux8846-9499. And yeah, I posted some tweets here. It's very new. I have 31 followers. So it would be nice to, to have you here also. And yeah, uh, that's my presentation of, uh, of um, Bit Digital. Very, very exciting company. And yeah, that's it for today. On Sunday, I will... I will make a video about my new BMX model, the version 0.2. I changed a lot and yeah, I've put in some office hours, maybe 10 right now, or I, it, it's going to be a lot more on the weekend, I guess, um, to finish the version 0.2. A lot of changes, a lot of improvements, and it's going to be very, very interesting. So thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.